Now to that deadly mass shooting at a supermarket in Buffalo, New York. The Federal Bureau of Investigation say they're investigating the shooting that left at least 10 people dead and another three wounded. ABC's Rena Roy has more. 18-year-old Peyton Gendron arraigned Saturday evening charged with first-degree murder just hours after a shooting rampage that left 10 people dead and at least three others injured. 11 of the 13 victims were black. That charge of murder in the first degree carries with it uh, a life without parole sentence. The horrific scene unfolding inside this supermarket in Buffalo, New York, shortly after 2.30 Saturday afternoon. This is the worst nightmare that any community can face. Authorities say Gendron of Conklin, New York, allegedly shot several people in the parking lot before entering Topps Friendly Markets and continuing his rampage. He exited his vehicle. He was very heavily armed. He had tactical gear. He had a tactical helmet on. He had a camera that he was live streaming what he was doing. He was eventually taken into custody by Buffalo police while still inside the store. According to law enforcement officials, a home associated with Gendron more than 200 miles away from Buffalo was searched by investigators. The shooter traveled hours from outside this community to perpetrate this crime on the people of Buffalo. New York Governor Kathy Hochul, a Buffalo native, says there is no depth to her outrage. A white supremacist who has engaged in an act of terrorism and will be prosecuted as such in a cold-hearted, cruel, calculating way. According to authorities, the suspect live streamed the attack as it unfolded. The FBI now assisting local authorities in the investigation. We're aggressively investigating this at the federal level as a hate crime and as an instance of racially motivated violent extremism. Investigators are looking into a 180 page document that Gendron is believed to have posted online, allegedly filled with racist and anti-Semitic rhetoric and a detailed outline of what he planned to do. Rena Roy, ABC News, Buffalo, New York.